Welcome to my beautiful club members for Trans Tuesday. This is the first time ever we are doing a signature series with me. I am your special guest tonight. Uh, so <laughs> welcome everyone. I'm Cassandra Storm. Before my feminine heart, I was a photographer. And, um, you know, with the advent of being virtual and being able to speak to so many groups around the country, uh, I have been speaking to all these other organizations, teaching like some tips and tricks here and there as a photographer, um, little bits of some of the things that I share in my feminine heart, but nobody ever gets all the goods like y'all do. Uh, but one of the things that I noticed I was teaching to other groups and I've been neglecting sharing with my club members are um, my tricks to look amazing on Zoom and social media. And I have noticed that um, there are a couple of things that I have been teaching in my previous pre-recorded signature private classes that are for our club members only. So are there are things I've noticed that I have taught where um, that my directions are not being followed. So I'm gonna correct a couple of errors that I am seeing tonight. So tonight is all about um, how to look your best online, whether it's Zoom or social media, uh, there are so many things that we can do. One of the things that I combat as a photographer, uh, when I photograph people, and I'm from South Central Pennsylvania, so I'm from an area of the country that's very blue collar. Uh, I'm from an area where, you know, I think like half the women don't wear makeup. It's not a very glammy area. In fact, a lot of times I photograph people where um, we're battling a lot. We're battling somebody who is struggling with self-esteem and they want to look good, but they don't want to look too good because they'd be putting on airs. So, um, you know, it's there's a bit of a struggle. Uh, and because I do a lot of commercial photography too, and I'm photographing very professional, um, you know, business people, the one thing I always tell them is, you know, I know you don't want to look too glamorous, but you do need to look polished. You do need to look professional. And the problem is, is we don't see ourselves the way other people see us. Um, other people, uh, they always, I mean, think of how you look at your friends and family and the love that you have for them. And if you've ever had friends or family or anyone that you know that is really self-critical, you know, that's kind of what we do to ourselves because we compare, you know, visions of ourselves with what we see in magazines and in Hollywood and on TV. So, you know, my job as a photographer is trying to help people blend, um, you know, the projection, how they project themselves online, on social media and in pictures and trying to look like their natural selves, but also kind of competing with the images that we're bombarded with, which are hyper polished, hyper airbrushed images. And the truth is, is, you know, yes, in magazines and in Hollywood, there's a lot going on there, um, you know, to make somebody look just like a, a, a 10 out of 10. But there's a lot of things that we can all do to help us look like a 10 without looking like we're being overly photoshopped. And a lot of that comes into just the way we position ourselves, we position the camera, we position the light, and yes, a little bit of filtering. So one of the things that I wanted to teach you first is um, how to do this on Zoom. And the same aspects that I correct myself with on Zoom, um, I use as a professional photographer. Never miss a single podcast by signing up for our newsletter at myfeminineheart.com.